Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my vlogs. This is a very special vlog. This is my pregnancy announcement first trimester vlog. Now, looking back at the footage, I actually didn't film too much over the past few months. And honestly, the reason for that is I was just so tired, like most of the time. I still am battling a bit of tiredness now, but I thought I would just come on and explain the way that I told John and John's mum Basically, the day that we found out I was pregnant, we were supposed to get matching tattoos and I didn't really know if I was pregnant, like I wasn't tracking my period, so I didn't know if it was late, but I kind of suspected something was up. Like I just felt, I had this like little feeling in my tummy and I thought on the way home the night before from work, I just grabbed a test and decided to do it before we got the tattoos, just in case. So I definitely wasn't expecting it to be positive hence my reaction that you're just about to see um, and that also sort of explains the way I told John and the way we told John's mum because yeah we were supposed to be getting tattoos that day so hopefully that explains that little part um, I am almost 14 weeks pregnant now so you're about to go back in time talk to you guys later bye Won't be able to get my tattoo today. What? Oh, oh wow. <laughs> well, oh, I was right. I thought so. I thought I was having a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> I like did the test and I was like, that is a strong line, <laughs> which means I've been pregnant for a while. Yeah. So we're currently on our way to my sister's workplace because we've got to drop off the keys for our house because she's pet sitting for us for the night. But we thought we would tell her that we've got a baby on the way as well. Um, because out of like the two people most excited about this news is definitely going to be my sister and John's mum. So what we're going to do is tell her, I'll be like, oh, should I actually tell them what I'm doing? Yeah. So what I'm going to do is be like, oh, look at this cute photo I took this morning. And she'll be like, oh my God, yeah, because that's what she's like. And I'm going to show her this like photo I took of the pregnancy test. 
and I reckon, I, don't, I actually don't know how she'll react if she'll believe us, so it'll be funny to see, I reckon. My idea, by the way. It was John's idea, because he's like, how are you going to tell her? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> Do you want to see a cute photo? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well we were supposed to go get tattooed today. But you didn't get them? No, you, we didn't get them. You can't get a tattoo if you're pregnant, so we had to cancel. <laughs> yeah. Are you yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. We just found out this morning. Yeah. So the last thing you would have seen is us telling John's mum that we're pregnant, which is. It was just so beautiful to see how she reacted. So I'm five weeks pregnant today and I went to the doctor yesterday. I got um, like the request for blood tests and she was sort of talking to me about my options on care throughout my pregnancy. And I've never been pregnant in Townsville before. So obviously I have just some decisions to make and there's a couple really good options, but it's just overwhelming even thinking about labor yet because it's so early. So I don't know which option I'm going to choose, but I'll keep you updated. Basically the difference is whether I'd want a water birth or not. That's sort of the difference between the two options. Um, and if I have a water birth, that option, there's just no option for an epidural. If I get to that point where I want one, I had two natural births previously with no epidural. Um, so, but the reason for that is because my labor progressed too quickly. So it's not that I didn't want it. <laughs> so, if I want it this time and this isn't a quick labor, I'm worried about that choice being taken away from me because of a decision I make now. Like it's just so overwhelming. Crazy. Anyway, I'm going to keep you guys posted on pregnancy updates and things. Obviously you're not going to be seeing this vlog until we announce publicly that we're pregnant, but I just want to keep you guys in the loop more so for my own memories as well. Um, our first scan is in a couple weeks, so I'll definitely be taking you guys along for that. It's just a dating scan, but obviously, hopefully, we'll be able to hear the heartbeat, which will be really cool. Hi, guys. So, I am seven weeks pregnant today, if all the dates are aligned, which is what we're going to finally find out today. So, we're going for our dating scan. I feel like the last two weeks has gone so slow, but I am starting to feel quite nauseous now. Like, this morning was in a vibe. The other morning I um, drank some coffee and that really made me want to vomit. <laughs> so the last couple of mornings I have not had coffee. And the last two days I will say has been a massive, massive struggle with my energy. And like I literally feel like I need a nap during the day. So first trimester feels. My cravings are pretty much just soft drink. And I've been craving... <laughs> Hello. Hi. <laughs> Look how cute he is. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've been craving um, salty foods mostly, but I do definitely still crave sweet. So I definitely don't know. Like I'm definitely not craving sweet as much as I normally do. But I, when I think about it, I don't usually have that many cravings. Like, So I can't really say either way. But when I was pregnant with the boys, my main craving was like salty foods. So... <sighs> I have a feeling it's a boy. <laughs> I'm just going to put it out there. But we should find out the gender in our nipped blood test, the NIPT. Um, so they do some DNA testing at about between 10 and 12 weeks. And we're going to find out the gender. Just because if it's a boy, I, this might be controversial, but I'll probably be slightly disappointed. I'm not going to lie because, you know, I've got two boys. So I would have loved a girl. Um, and if it's a girl, I'd probably cry with tears of happiness. Um, obviously I'd be grateful. Like by the time the baby comes, that's what I mean. Like I want to find out the gender so that I can prepare myself 
by the time the baby comes, I'm just like excited and happy to meet the baby by then, you know, like I don't want that shock when the baby comes out to be like, it's another boy. And I'll be like, what? (laughs) So yeah, that's, I know it's a controversial thing, but gender disappointment is very real. And I'm just hoping that that's not what happens for me. So I'm very, very keen to find out what it is, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see if my Pregnancy symptoms are the same if I end up with the same sex baby. Just took my jacket off because the reason I'm in front of the mirror was to give you a little like, I guess, little update on the body. So most days I've been super, super bloated, but today I would say I look fairly normal. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how this belly grows. I definitely have more flab and stuff at the moment, but As you guys know, or most of you would know, if you've been following me for a while, I had a tummy tuck a few years ago. So with muscle repair, because I had muscle separation with the boys. So they stitched up from like right under my boobs, like all the way down. So I'm very curious to see how my belly is going to grow. If it's going to look like a normal pregnant belly or if it's going to be like really tight and uncomfortable. Like I just don't really know, but I'm definitely going to buy some belly oil and make sure it stays very hydrated. Okay guys, so we're now over the 12 week mark. I was officially 12 weeks pregnant yesterday. As far as we know, everything's going well. I went and got the Harmony test done a couple weeks ago, which is a very expensive blood test, but it basically goes over like if the baby has any genetic conditions or you know anything like that, but it also tells you the gender of the baby. So I went and got the results this morning and we have the gender in this envelope and we're both nervous. <laughs> I'm, I'm nervous. not nervous. I'm just excited to find out. I want to know. I'm nervous. Any final thoughts on what do you think it's going to be? I think it's a boy. Okay. What about you? I think it's a boy too. <laughs> I'll be honestly shocked if it's not. I was telling mom today. I was like, I'm pretty sure it's a boy. All right. Are you ready? I'm nervous. It's non-invasive. Oh my god, <laughs> it is. It's a boy. Fucking knew it. I was obviously hoping for a girl. <laughs> but yeah, crazy. Knew it. Unless there's only one baby in there. Well, <laughs> that's a positive. I'm a bit sad. Why are you sad? You know why. Well, at least it's a healthy baby. Spot on. We were both right and mum's psychic was not. (laughs) I've had like actually like quite a good pregnancy in terms of like, I haven't been very sick. Like I was a bit nauseous at the start and very, very, very tired. But apart from that, like I've been able to exercise and things like that. And it was the exact same with the boys. So that's why I suspected it was a boy. I was hoping, I was hoping it was a girl, but. As long as the baby's healthy, that's the main thing. So the last part of this vlog is actually going to be us telling the boys because they don't know yet. But Spencer was like rubbing my belly the other day because my belly is definitely growing. It's so funny because I didn't know how my belly was going to respond being my third child because I've had surgery since my second. Um, But they do say like every pregnancy you show faster and... To me, I can definitely tell my belly's round and like he was like rubbing it and I was like, oh, he knows. I just knew, he just knows something's up. Something's different. So I'm very excited to tell them that they're gonna have a brother now. Oh my God, it's crazy. So there's something in here that's very special. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? Read the card. 